Hey guys, this is Divya and I'm back with another episode of Personalities. Today we're going to discuss about Alan Octavian Hume. So he was the founder of Indian National Congress, we know him. Before I begin, I would like to request you to subscribe Vaishai's channel and press the bell notification so that you never miss an update. Also, uh, Vaishai has launched uh, 2023 test series as well as a timetable. It is highly, highly recommended that you buy those test series, test series and follow the timetable religiously so that you can crack you can uh, you, you can you can crack 2023 exam right so let's begin so ao hume was a british civil servant he was a political reformer also ornithologist and a botanist ornithologist is the one who studies the birds right so he was he was the founder of indian national congress and he was a noted ornithologist and he is also called as father of Indian ornithology and uh, some also call, call him the Pope of Indian ornithology. So he was an administrator. He was an administrator of Ottawa, uh, Ottawa district in Uttar Pradesh and he saw the Indian rebellion of 1857 as a result of misgovernance and he made the efforts to improve the situation in that district. I am sorry for this. Um, uh, yeah, for, for this. So I don't know how it came here. So Itawa, because of his efforts, the Itawa was the first uh, first district which came to which returned to normalcy over the over the next few years. And uh, because of his Hume's uh, reforms, it led to the district considered as the model of development. So he worked there. Now, A. O. Hume was bold and he was outspoken in questioning the British policies policies in India. He rose in. 1871 to the position of secretary to the department of revenue agriculture and commerce under lord mayo his criticism his criticism of uh, lord lytton led to his removal from the secretariat in 1879 now we'll know about his childhood so ao hume was born at saint mary uh, saint mary cray which is in kent kent is in um, england of course so he was the youngest son of joseph hume and Joseph Hume was the radical Scottish member, of, uh, Scottish member of Parliament, and he was married to Maria Burnley. So he was educated uh, at University College Hospital, where he studied me medicine and surgery, and was then nominated to the the civil uh, to the Indian Civil Services, which led him to study at East India Company College, Haileybury. So his stint in civil services, it was only. Uh, nine years after his entry into the entry into India, that Hume had to face Indian Rebellion of 1857, and during this time, he was involved in several military actions for which he was created. He was given Champion of Bath in 1860. 1860. This was the title given to him. So he blamed British inept, uh, inaptitude for uprising and pursued a policy of mercy and forbearance when dealing with the captured rebels. The district of Ita Itawa was restored to peace, peace and order in a year, something that was not possible in most part of the uh, India. As district officer in the civil service, he began introducing primary, free primary education and held public meetings for their support. He made changes in the functioning of the police department and separation of judicial role. He was very outspoken and he never feared to criticize when he thought the government was in wrong. Even in 1861, he objected to the concentration of police and judicial functions in the hand of police superintendents. So, of police uh, superintendents, and then he criticized in 1879 the administration of Lord Lytton, and according to which, right, according to him, he had cared little for the welfare and aspirations of the people of India. So, Lytton, uh, so Lord Lytton's foreign policy according to Hume, has led to the waste of millions and millions of Indian money. So he was critical of the land revenue policy and suggested that it was the co uh, cause of poverty in India. He published a book on Indian reform, Indian agricultural reforms. Right? The book was Agriculture Reform in India in 1879. And in 1879, he went against the authorities. The government of Lord Lytton, so the government of Lord Lytton dismissed him from his position a position in the secretariat now following which he faced demotion and then he had to resign so in spite of humiliation of demotion he did not resign immediately from that service because 
it has been suggested that this was because of because he needed his salary to support the publication of the game the game birds of india that he was working on right so he re he retired from civil civil services only in 1882 and then in indian national congress so it has been suggested that the idea of congress was originally conceived in a private meeting of 17 member 17 men after a theosophical convention held at madras in december 1884 but there is no uh, no evidence that is existing so hume took the initiative and it was in march 1885 when a notice uh, when a notice was uh, first issued to convene the first indian national union to meet at pune the following december then his contribution to ornithology and natural history so during his career in etawa he built up a personal collection of bird specimen however the first collection that he made was destroyed during the 1857 rebellion after 1857 Hume made several expeditions to collect birds both on the health leave and where work took him uh, right but his most systematic work began after he mo- moved to Shimla he was collector and magistrate of Etawa from 1856 to 1867 during which uh, which time he studied the birds of that area now his collection as you can see so he used his vast bird collection to use as editor of his journal stray feathers he also intended to produce a comprehensive publication on the birds of india now as you can see this is rotni castle, castle conservatory and facade so the hume collection contained 258 type specimens in in addition there were nearly 400 mammal species specimen including new species such as uh, hedromesis humei so he died at the age of 89 83 on 31st july 1912 his ashes were buried in brookwood cemetery with this we have come an end to this uh, episode hope you enjoyed it i'll wind up this episode now and if you enjoyed it if you liked it please subscribe uh, please uh, share these videos as much as you can we'll meet in the next one